Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from SG Audio Hive. Today we have with us a DT880 Pro. This is uh, from Beer Dynamics. Uh, it's coming in for a mini XLR mod. This is a 3 pin mini XLR and we are going to use the same uh, exact pin out as uh, AKG headphones. For this mod, we only actually need uh, your soldering iron and solder, the connectors, and uh, a pair of tweezers. Then I'll start off with the disassembly of the headphones. So for this particular case, we only need to open up the wire entry side, which is the left side. To open up the headphones, uh, we will just first remove the ear pads. Beneath the ear pad will be a locking ring to keep the driver in place. So uh, this foam is also a separate part. So to remove this ring, we use something flat and thin like this pair of tweezers. Let's find a groove that we can fit it into and just pop it out. So beneath the ring, you'll see this cotton, you can remove it. And here we see the driver assembly itself. So it is held on by the same method. So put the tweezer in or something that's flat and pop them out. You will want to be very careful after taking out the driver because uh, we can take a look at the back. So this is a newer version of uh, the Beer Dynamics driver. They are much uh, flusher. The previous version, they have some holding plastic ring which goes up very high and then some parts which will have an issue when you have it uh, assembled with a new connector. So right now we take a look at the driver soldering points. You can see that these three colored wires come from the main cable itself. In this case, the copper color is the ground. We have the red color for right channel and the blue color for the left channel. First, we will just remove this metal plate that is locking the whole cable in place. So now we can actually pull this down. But we actually want to use this, the same wire that is uh, on the headphone itself. So we are going to cut this. Okay, Be very careful not to tuck at the driver itself because uh, we don't want the soldering pads or this green part, PCB part, to move. The voice coins are very thin and uh, they are along this line. They are very thin and any movement can just break them. Once we've cut off the bottom, uh, we try to coax the wires out of their shift. So now we have three separate wires. For this mod, we do actually need to disorder the linking wires. So, you just remove the soldering. And our driver is free. So while we are doing this part, let us put some tin on the colored wires. We do have a comprehensive soldering 
video uh, which I'll put on the link here. The next step is to actually enlarge this hole wide enough for a connector like this to go in. Take note that we actually want the hole to extend downwards because this part will be poking out from the back. And the driver is actually lying flush down to here. So we actually want the hole to be enlarged downwards meaning towards this metal piece we can have some drilling on the top part but most of it will be on the lower part as you can see this connector cover up the hole quite well so we can mark out where we want it to be drilled and just a bit here oh yeah you will really need a dremel rotary tool or some hand files to enlarge this hole so i'm going to be using a round bit The best orientation for the connector is for the groove to be pointed downward. So after drilling, we can clean up all the dust and all the burrs at the edges using a piece of penna. Once we have done that, we want to install the connector that it will be one of the last step before gluing up. We want our driver to be inside and the wires going outside to solder the connectors. But before that, let's connect back the linking wires onto our driver
Then let's take a look at the v the male connector of the mini XR. So we have markings at the back. So we have one, two, and three. Pin one will be the ground. Pin two will be the right channel and pin 3 will be the left channel so we will just pull the wire out through the hole and solder them according to their colors so blue on the left which is pin 3 red pin 2 right and the brown the copper pin one ground we will then pull the dry the connector inside take note of the orientation again On the inside, we just want to apply a little bit of super glue to hold it down, make sure it doesn't move a lot. Just a bit will do. And then we'll use a two part epoxy party to glue them up. As always, we get uh, them in a one-to-one -one ratio and mix them up. Once the party is sufficiently mixed, we can install them So what I like to do is always at the side, compress in, at the side, compress in So one on the side and one on the other And we'll start to pack them down This party takes about 3 hours to harden and 24 hours to set but it is safe to use them uh, after 3 hours Once you are happy with the packing we can reinstall everything So what we do is to just put them back in the reverse order Remember the forms, the ring clip. And finally your ear pads.
and there we have it a pair of beer dynamics uh, modded to mini xlr single side entry in the fashion of a uh, akg this is a similar mod across the whole lineup uh, even the old models which they have a uh, slightly different steps where we need to remove some plastic on the interior but for the newer models uh, this is the actual procedure for most of the models 